Hello and welcome back to Pharma Guideline. Today, we are exploring an incredibly important analytical technique used in the pharmaceutical and chemical industries, gas chromatography or GC. By the end of this video, you'll understand not just what GC is, but exactly how it works, step by step. So, let's get started. Let's begin with the basics. Gas chromatography is an analytical technique used to separate and analyze compounds that can be vaporized without decomposition. It is particularly useful for analyzing volatile substances in complex mixtures. For example, residual solvents in drug formulations or impurities in active pharmaceutical ingredients. Let's take a closer look at the key components of a gas chromatograph. First component is carrier gas. The function of carrier gas is to act as the mobile phase. Helium, nitrogen and hydrogen gases are used and those are selected based on detector compatibility and safety. Second component is the sample injector. It is a heated port where liquid or gas samples are introduced. The sample is instantly vaporized and carried into the column by the carrier gas. Third is column. Column is the heart of GC. It comes in packed or capillary types. Capillary columns are commonly used today with inner diameters of less than 0.53 mm. Columns are coated with a stationary face tailored to your sample type. Fourth component is column oven. It maintains temperature control for optimal separation. You can use isothermal for constant temperature or programmed increasing temperature methods based on compound volatility. Fifth component is detector. It detects separated compounds and sends signals to the data system. Popular detectors are Flame Ionization Detector, that is FID. It measures ions from organic compounds. Thermal Conductivity Detector, that is TCD. It is based on changes in thermal conductivity. Electron Capture Detector, that is ECD. It is extremely sensitive to halogenated compounds. Mass spectrometer, that is MS. It provides structural info about analytes. Sixth component is data system. It records and interprets data and produces chromatograms showing peaks of different compounds. Peak retention time is identification and peak area or height is quantification. Let's now take a deeper dive into the working principle of gas chromatography and trust me, understanding this well is the key to mastering GC. Gas chromatography works by separating compounds in a mixture. It uses a mobile phase, which is an inert gas, and a stationary phase, which is a liquid or solid inside a narrow column. The sample is vaporized and carried by the gas through the column. Each compound moves at a different speed based on its volatility and interaction with the stationary phase. This allows the individual components to be separated and analyzed. Here's how it works step by step. Sample Vaporization and Injection When a small volume of the sample, usually in liquid form, is injected into the heated injector port, it instantly vaporizes due to high temperature, converting it into a gas. This is essential because the sample must be in a gaseous state to travel through the column. This vaporized sample is then picked up by the carrier gas, which is an inert gas like helium, nitrogen or hydrogen and it acts as the mobile phase. Second step is the interaction of the sample in the column. As the sample flows through the chromatographic column, it comes into contact with the stationary phase which is coated on the inner walls of the column or a solid support in packed columns. Each component in the sample mixture interacts differently with the stationary phase. Some molecules are more attracted to the stationary phase and stick longer, while others are less interactive and move quickly with the carrier gas. This difference in interaction time causes the compounds to separate from each other as they travel along the column. Third step is retention time, which is the key to identification. Each compound exits or elutes from the column at a unique time, called the retention time. 
Retention time is the time taken by a compound to pass through the column and reach the detector. It is influenced by factors such as boiling point, molecular weight, polarity, column temperature, and carrier gas flow rate. This unique retention time serves as a kind of fingerprint for each substance, which we can compare to standard references. Fourth step is detection and signal generation. Once separated, the compounds reach the detector, commonly a flame ionization detector, that is FID, or a thermal conductivity detector, that is TCD. The FID works by burning the compounds in a hydrogen flame and measuring the ions produced. The TCD detects changes in thermal conductivity between the carrier gas and the analyte. The detector converts the physical change into an electrical signal, which is sent to the data system. Fifth step is output in the form of a chromatogram. This signal is plotted on a chromatogram, which shows peaks corresponding to each component. The x-axis represents time, that is retention time. The y-axis shows detector response, how much of the compound is present. By analyzing the number, size, and position of the peaks, we can both identify and quantify the components in the mixture. Applications of Gas Chromatography Gas chromatography is used in many critical applications, such as in pharmaceuticals GC is used to identify impurities, residual solvents, or ensuring batch consistency. In environmental testing, it is used to measure pollutants in air or water. In food and beverage industry, it is used to check flavoring agents or pesticide residues. In forensic labs, GC is used to identify drugs or explosive traces. And petrochemical industry, it is used to analyze fuel composition. Advantages and Limitations of Gas Chromatography Advantages of GC are that it has high sensitivity and resolution, rapid analysis, can handle complex mixtures and easily automated. While there are some limitations too, like sample must be volatile and thermally stable. Non-volatile compounds need derivatization. Requires specialized training and equipment. So to sum up, the principle of gas chromatography revolves around this concept that a sample mixture is separated into its components based on how long each one takes to pass through a column coated with a stationary phase carried by an inert gas. The difference in travel time is caused by how much each component likes the stationary phase and that's what gives GC its excellent separation power. It's like running a race where each molecule runs at its own speed based on how distracted it gets inside the column. Whether you're a student, analyst, or researcher, mastering GC opens up a world of analytical capabilities. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get regular updates. Join channel membership to access exclusive content like courses and member-specific videos.